to face off with Charles Thompson in the main event of Star Spangled Beatdown to determine the new World Heavyweight Champion. The following contest is a four-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Tehran, Iran. Weighing in at 296 pounds. We're going to start the evening off here tonight with the first of our four-man battle royals. And Sheik Amir makes his way down to the ring as the first competitor in this matchup. Again, Charles Thompson has already won and advanced. He will be in the championship match at the main event of Star Spangled Beatdown. Tonight, we will find out who will join him. Perhaps it could be this man, Sheik Amir. And Amir looking as prepared as you could possibly be for a matchup like this. It's over the top rules. Both feet must touch the floor to be eliminated. And his opponents, first, representing High Energy from Salem, Oregon, weighing in at 217 pounds, Derek Wright. And here comes Derek Wright of High Energy. Just last week, his partner, Willie Jones, competed in one of these over-the-top battle royal matches was unsuccessful in moving on, but just because Derek Wright is more or less a tag team specialist doesn't mean that he couldn't win this match and go on to the main event. We saw Ivar do that just last week. Gavin Briggs making his way down here to the ring. And Gavin Briggs is one of at least, I believe, three competitors uh, planning on taking place, uh, taking part, excuse me, in these Battle Royals tonight that competed in the Battle Royals last week. They are getting a second opportunity, a second chance. And Gavin Briggs is just one of those three. I think we'll see the other two in the second Battle Royal a little bit later on tonight. Gavin Briggs prepared to take on three other competitors in an over-the-top Battle Royal once again. And who is the last, the last competitor? from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 379 pounds. Strongman, Alto P. Wallace. 
Well, this is bad news for all three of the other competitors in this match because down walks a strong man, Aldo P. Wallace. And he is going to be the biggest, the strongest of all the competitors in this matchup. The only one close would possibly be Sheik Amir. So I believe all three of these competitors are going to have to work together to eliminate Aldo P. Wallace before they can worry about winning this thing. And here we go. The bell sounds. We're underway. And a little bit of razzle-dazzle between everybody here in the opening moments. But now... Aldo P. Wallace has she come here in the airplane spin drop kick by Gavin Briggs to Derek Wright and Briggs now stomping away punching she come here goes head first into the top turnbuckle splash by Aldo in the corner I gotta believe that Derek Wright has a little bit of extra motivation to not only win this four-man battle royal, but to win the main event tonight as well. So he can face off with his former friend, former partner, Charles Thompson for a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. What sweet revenge it would be for Derek Wright to defeat his longtime former friend and ally, his partner, Charles Thompson for the World Heavyweight Championship at Star Spangled Beatdown here in just a couple of days' time. Gavin Briggs with the face first suplex to Derek Wright. And now she Amir's in trouble. She Amir desperately hanging on, trying to get eliminated here. Aldo trying to eliminate Sheik Amir couldn't do it. And now Gavin Briggs close line over the top and there goes Derek Wright's chances at going to Star Spangled Beatdown for the World Heavyweight Championship. Eliminated by Gavin Briggs. Briggs now going after Aldo. And Aldo, what strength and power by strongman Aldo P. Wallace. And again, I believe that all three of these competitors should have triple teamed Aldo to try to eliminate the biggest and strongest competitor in the match. But be that as it may, Gavin Briggs went for the drop kick, swatted away by Aldo and Aldo now look at this strength this brute power by Aldo and now Gavin's in trouble and now she come here teams up with Aldo and Gavin Briggs is thrown over the top and is eliminated and now the two biggest and most powerful athletes in this match are gonna square off like two big bulls locking horns but can she come here, eliminate Aldo B. Wallace on his own? Dragon screw by Aldo is going to, and look at that kick by she come here. I'd say gonna switch up the momentum, but it's back in the favor of him. And look at both of these guys. Going back and forth, trying to gain the upper hand, and there's the headbutt. The headbutt by Aldo. And I think he might have just laid Sheik Amir out. He might have just knocked him out with that one shot, with that bowling ball-like head. Sends Amir head first into the top turnbuckle. And a scoop and a slam by strongman Aldo. P. Wallace. Now Aldo has Amir up for the press. Down face first into the canvas. 
Now, Aldo P. Wallace with Sheik Amir. And now Amir is in trouble. Amir's hanging on for dear life. And can't do it up and over the top. And Aldo P. Wallace has won this thing. Here's how it went down. Derek Wright was eliminated by Gavin Briggs. Briggs was then eliminated by both Aldo P. Wallace and Sheik Amir. And finally, Aldo P. Wallace, with all that strength and power, tosses Sheik Amir to win this match and move on to the main event tonight. Well, the other competitors did not work together, and the result is Aldo P. Wallace moves on to our main event. We're going to see who's going to join him a little bit later on as we have another four-man battle royal a little bit later on tonight. We also have the United States Heavyweight Champion, Chris Van Diver, going toe-to-toe, face-to-face -to -face with Mr. Amazing Ray Snyder. But coming up next is tag team action as Wild Thing Tammy Mullins and the superstar Hallie Nolan will take on Lacey Evans and Whitney Duncan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Hollywood, California, Well, the rivalry between women's world champion Tammy Mullins and number one contender Hallie Nolan is really heating up, and wouldn't you know it, well, tonight they've been teamed together. Just last week, Tammy Mullins threw Hallie Nolan back into the ring after she tried to leave the match. She would ultimately lose that match against opponent Whitney Duncan, who she faces again here tonight. And her partner, from Toluca Lake, California, the Global Wrestling Alliance Women's World Champion, Wild Thing, Tammy Mullins. Tammy Mullins. One of the longest reigning GWA Women's World Champions in history. Uh, right now, I believe she is uh, second overall in the longest reigning World Women's Champions. Looking to extend that reign. But she will defend that Women's World title against Hallie Nolan here in a couple of days. Here comes the first competitor on the opposite side, Whitney Duncan. Has a victory over Hallie Nolan just last week, like we just talked about. And she is teaming tonight with sometimes friend, sometimes adversary, Lacey Evans. We have seen Duncan and Evans work together several times in the past. They have found some success as a tag team over the last couple of months. Perhaps they ought to become a full-time tag team and go after the women's world tag team titles. comes Lacey Evans to join her partner for the evening in this tag team bout and we have seen on many occasions here in GWA when two rivals are pitted together as tag team partners very rarely does it ever go as planned it doesn't go well and with the women's world championship match and only a couple of days, I can't, I can't truly believe that these two ladies, and I mean 
Mullins and Nolan are going to work together and already the bell sounds and already Hallie Nolan slaps Tammy Mullins on the back, tags herself in and she's going to start things off with Whitney Duncan. Got to imagine that things aren't quite settled between these two ladies as well because of how things went down last week. Drop kick but avoided by Duncan and Duncan now with several strikes and looked like a camel clutch there turned it into a backbreaker stiff kick to the spine and Whitney Duncan takes control in this matchup Duncan hooks her up fisherman suplex with the bridge one two and nearly had the victory right there a beautiful fisherman suplex with the bridge by Whitney Duncan now stomping on the hands and already Nolan needs to get a tag and there's a D strike and reversal into the fireman's carry there's a block and a reversal by Nolan Nolan kicks her leg right out from underneath her and the swinging neck breaker by Hallie Nolan. Nolan now going to use this opportunity and yes, is gonna tag out and in comes the women's world champion, Tammy Mullins. And Mullins now with several strikes finds their target. And a tag and in comes Lacey Evans. And Evans now swinging for the fences. A little leg sweep by Lacey Evans. Several blows right to the side of the head. And now in comes Nolan. I don't know if Nolan was actually trying to help Tammy Mullen. She gets sent out of the ring. Over the top rope into the floor. Now Lacey Evans to the top. And Evans with the moon salt, but there was no water in the pool. And she crashed and burned, and Tammy Mullins now trying to take advantage of that situation. Sending Evans to the corner, and now Hallie Nolan makes her way back up to the ring apron. And look at this. Submission hold in the ropes, not a legal maneuver, mind you, but it's going to do some damage nonetheless. Cover. One. And only a one for the Women's World Champion. And now here's another tag, and in comes Hallie Nolan. Seem to be working all right as a team right now. Well, well, uh, just as I say that, I got—I just got to stop speaking. Every time I say something, something happens. Something goes down. Tammy Mullins walking out on Hallie Nolan, and now Nolan is all alone against Whitney Duncan and Lacey Evans. What a shot by Nolan! Here's the cover. One. Yeah. Understand that Hallie Nolan is now going to be desperate to end this thing as quickly as she can. The women's world champion has walked out on Hallie Nolan, her tag team partner. She's going to go for a cover here again. One. No, I don't even think she got the one. Shot to Lacey Evans. And now Nolan having to fight off both of these ladies. Hallie Nolan went to tag back out. Whitney, uh, excuse me, not Whitney, uh, Tammy Mullins jumped off the apron and has walked to the back. Duncan hooks her up with a uh, corkscrew light suplex. And now drags her away from the ropes, cover. One, two, no. Very close, but release German suplex by Whitney Duncan sends Nolan halfway across the ring. 
tag is made. Lacey Evans back in. Hallie Nolan. Hallie Nolan is in a lot of trouble here. She has no one to tag. I know things have been getting a little heated between the women's world champion and the number one contender, but I don't agree with this. Out of Tammy Mullins. Drop kick to the back of the head. Here's the cover. One, two, nothing doing. Two count for Lacey Evans. And Nolan now trying her best to battle back. Nolan now with Lacey Evans sends her face first into the turnbuckle. And there's the snapmare out of the corner against the ropes. Springboard splash. One, two, no. Thought she could have had the three right there. Split leg of the leg drop. One, two, and it's over. And it's not. It's not over. Somehow, some way, Lacey Evans gets the shoulder up. Listen to this crowd. There's a shot. Drop kick and Duncan falls to the floor. Nasty landing. Hallie Nolan trying to do her best to end this thing on her own. Evans, drop her down. And into the cover. One, two, three. A little too much for Hallie Nolan here tonight. And look at this, this is how the thing started between the two. The slap on the back and tags herself in. Went to tag out later on in the match. Tammy Mullen just wasn't having it. Left Hallie Nolan all alone. And just as Hallie Nolan was gonna try to end this thing, Lacey Evans took advantage, spikes her, and gains the victory here tonight. A victory tonight for Lacey Evans and Whitney Duncan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, join us this Sunday as Global Wrestling Alliance presents Star Spangled Beatdown. I was just talking about it, but the GWA Women's World Championship will be on the line as the number one contender, the superstar, Hallie Nolan, challenges the champion, Wild Thing, Tammy Mullins, but that's not all. We're also gonna have the World Tag Team titles on the line as the Pitbulls take on the champions, Sergio Dondelinger and Homeless Bob. Jennifer Amell is standing by with the number one contenders. Words from the number one contenders, but coming up next, it is time for our second four-man battle royal.
And here's one of the competitors getting a second chance. Big Bubba Mason competed in one of our four-man battle royals just last week. Was unable to get it done. Getting another opportunity here tonight. And knowing that this is his final chance to advance, He's going to be giving it all he's got. This man is going to be as well. And his opponent, first, from Eugene, Oregon, weighing in at 168 pounds, Justin Reed. The Lightning Kid, Justin Reed, also getting a second opportunity. He had to pull double duty last week. Competing in not only in a four-man battle royal, but a matchup with Alexander Sokolov as well. Tonight, he's only got this match to focus on. So, you know, he's going to be giving it his all to advance to the main event of tonight's show. Here is another tag team specialist, Cliff Russell, making his way down to the ring for this matchup. His partner, Vince Dixon, competed in one of the four-man battle royals last week. Cliff Russell, hoping that his fortunes are going to be better than his partner's. And a huge opportunity in the career of Cliff Russell if he can gain the victory here tonight by eliminating his other three competitors. One half of the Viking Raiders, Eric, his tag team partner, Ivar, found success in his four-man battle royal last week, moving on to the main event of last week's show. Eric looking to replicate that success and move on to the main event here tonight. If only he could defeat... Aldo P. Wallace later on tonight and move on to the championship match at Star Spangled Beatdown. And listen to this crowd. They are firmly behind Eric here tonight. Well, all these competitors are ready. They know what's at stake. And here we go. The bell sounds. We're underway. And Justin Reed with Eric and power bomb by Bubba Mason. Cliff Russell trying to battle back, but what impact on the power bomb? Justin Reed head first into the turnbuckle. Eric, Eric now trying to eliminate him. Justin Reed's in trouble. Already, Justin Reed finding himself in trouble of being eliminated. He's fighting it. A shot to the side of the head, and he's able to avoid that. Now Cliff Russell. Cliff Russell finds himself in a similar predicament as Bubba Mason is trying to eliminate Cliff Russell now. Gut wrench powerbomb. 
And there's a shot. Cliff Russell able to avoid elimination as well. And now look at this. Look at the strength by Eric. Are you kidding? Manhandling Bubba Mason. And now Eric has paired off with Eric and Justin Reed went over the top. He was once again able to avoid elimination. And clothesline over the top. That time he didn't. Cliff Russell with the first elimination. And it's Justin Reed. Once again, Reed's opportunity goes right out the window. Clothesline by Bubba Mason. Eric now in. And look at this. And this time, not enough. As he was not able to hold up the weight of big Bubba Mason. And now Eric is in trouble. Up on the shoulders. And look at this. Now Bubba Mason trying to eliminate Eric. Eric holding on with everything he's got, trying to stay in this match. And now Cliff Russell trying to help out and now Eric having to fight off both. Cliff Russell and Bubba Mason able to do so. And look at this. Gut buster there by Eric. Cut off by Big Bubba Mason. And now Cliff Russell goes after him and look at this. Caught the leg, spine buster! Or maybe a modified choke slam there by Bubba Mason. Cliff Russell has been rocked. And now once again, Russell is in trouble and now here comes Eric. Cliff Russell over the top. A competitor has been eliminated. Now we're down to Bubba Mason and Eric, and are you kidding me with this strength? Displayed by Eric. We are down to two. Which of these two men is going to join Aldo P. Wallace tonight in our main event? Bubba Mason or Eric of the Viking Raiders. Eric with an elbow well placed right into the bread basket. Clubbing blow by Bubba Mason sends Eric back to the canvas. And waist lock. Bubba Mason scoops him up. Power slam by Bubba Mason. Bit of a modified version of it. But Eric finding himself being manhandled now by Bubba Mason. Mason now grabs him, chucks him like a bale of hay. Now Bubba Mason looking to end this thing. He's got Eric right in the crosshairs. And the discus big boot by Bubba Mason. And Eric over the top and to the floor. Bubba Mason has done it. The first elimination was Justin Reed. Cliff Russell then eliminated by both Bubba Mason and Eric. And finally, the big boot by Bubba Mason took Eric right out of it. And over the top he went, and Bubba Mason wins this thing. Here is your winner, Big Bubba Mason. Well, Bubba Mason uses his second opportunity to its fullest, and he wins this thing. So now, our main event tonight is set. All OP Wallace to take on Big Bubba Mason to see who's going to go to the finals at Star Spangled Beatdown for the World Heavyweight title. But coming up next, Chris Van Diver will go face to face with Mr. Amazing Ray Schneider. And there they are. The Van Divers. 
making their way into the arena as only the Van Divers do. Lilith Van Diver driving their hoopty down to the ring. Chris Van Diver, the United States Heavyweight Champion, fired up here tonight. Wonder what kind of model that vehicle is. So Chris Van Diver fired up as always. And tonight, he meets Mr. Amazing Ray Schneider. Chris Van Diver waiting for his opponent. He's psyched up, he's ready. Amazing Ray Snyder making his way to the ring for this matchup. Ray Snyder competed in one of those four man battle royals last week as well, was unable to get it done. But now he finds himself squaring off with the United States Heavyweight Champion. He is currently not the number one contender. However, a victory over the United States Heavyweight Champion will put Mr. Amazing at the top of the list for the contenders for that championship. Chris Van Diver, Ray Snyder set to square off here on Supercharge. The bell sounds and we're underway. Van Diver comes out swinging. Shoved back by Snyder, the Insegiri. It only rocked Snyder. Snyder now takes Van Diver against the ropes, clubbing blow right to the kidneys. And again, kidney shot right in the back area. And Snyder now has gained control and uh, chop blocked by Van Diver, Van Diver with a shot right on the chin. Send Snyder for the ride. Drop down and over the top. And win for the Insegirchi. Did not hit it, but there's a headbutt it looked like. One, only a one this time for Chris Van Diver. Van Diver now with a shot to Snyder right on the jaw again. And blocked by Snyder. Snyder now firing away. He hooks up Chris Van Diver, spikes him with a pile driver. Down across the face, and again, stretching out the facial tissue of Chris Van Diver. Now with a camel clutch. Van Diver in trouble. Ripping and tearing at the neck and the spine. Trips up Snyder by picking the ankle. Now, on the middle row. Down, missed. And Snyder's going to take advantage of that scoop here. And Van Diver able to escape and goes for the chop block to the bad knees of Ray Snyder. And now, ripping and tearing at the bad knee of Ray Snyder. And now Van Diver says, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the other one. If Snyder can't stand, I don't think he can win this matchup. Now Van Diver going upstairs and down with the elbow drop, the cover. One, two, no. Snyder able to get the shoulder up. This match will continue. Shot right in the face. Snyder now comes back up swinging again. Van Diver 
against the ropes. Down and using the ropes for momentum. Stomp right into the chest cavity of Chris Van Diver. And Snyder drops the elbow. And now Van, Di uh, Van Diver in trouble. The crisscross. Boston Crab by Ray Snyder. Chris Van Diver's fighting it with everything he's got. And Van Diver finds the ankles, picks them, is able to escape the hold. And scoop here by Snyder, trying to capitalize, can't do it, right back to the knee. Goes Chris Van Diver. And Van Diver now with the clothesline. A second knockdown, and ducks under the clothesline. High elevation on the drop kick, and Chris Van Diver's rolling. And Van Connor, Van Connor, Van Connor one, two, and it's in. No, it's not over. It's not over. Chris Van Diver hits the Van Connor. And unable to secure the victory, Ray Snyder with the kick out. I don't even know how he did that. Now Van Diver has Snyder in the ropes, sends him across. And look at that. He had it! He had it! Superman gonna cover! One, two, three! And the victory for Chris Van Diver. Look at this. Chris Van Diver has perfected this. Bam! And the cover and the victory here tonight for Chris Van Diver. Chris Van Diver victorious here tonight. A big victory for Well, wait a minute. There's the... There's the number one contender, Alexander Sokolov, with a blindside attack. And now he's got the United States Heavyweight Championship belt. Don't turn around, Chris. Don't you do it! Alexander Sokolov has just knocked out the United States Heavyweight Champion. Despicable. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this Sunday, Global Wrestling Alliance presents Star Spangled Beatdown. That right there is going to be settled as the United States Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the Russian gladiator Alexander Sokolov challenges the United States Heavyweight Champion Chris Van Diver. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event. Old O.P. Wallace to take on Big Bubba Mason to see who's going to move on to the finals at Star Spangled Beatdown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Weighing in at 379 pounds, strongman, Aldo P. Wallace. Aldo P. Wallace won our first four-man battle royal to make it here to the main event. A former GWA heavyweight champion of the world in his own right. Looking to win that championship once again, but he's gonna have to go through Big Bubba Mason to get that opportunity. And his opponent from Perry, Oklahoma, weighing in at 324 pounds, Big Bubba Mason. And Big Bubba Mason making his way down to the ring. And to take on old O.P. Wallace for an opportunity of a lifetime. And I gotta tell you, this, this here, this, these are two of the biggest competitors 
in Global Wrestling Alliance. There's a part of me that even wonders if this ring or this arena can even contain these two men here tonight. You gotta believe that we're going to see an explosion here between these two because we know what is at stake. And you know, primetime Charles Thompson is going to be watching this one intently. The bell sounds, we're underway, and look at these two gladiators go at it. Neither man able to gain the upper hand. Look at the jockeying for position. And finally, Aldo P. Wallace with a couple of clubbing blows. Down across the ears, compressing the neck and spine. Aldo, Aldo goes for the cover. Not gonna get it done, not, not yet. And now, blocked. Headbutt by Bubba Mason. Which man has the harder head? Reverse choke slam by Bubba Mason. Uh, both of these men got the heads the size of watermelons, as hard as bowling balls. I gotta wonder which one would have got hurt by that the most. Splash in the corner by Bubba Mason. And now Mason gonna go for the cover to try to end this thing. One, got a one count out of it. A little bit more than what Aldo P. Wallace got of a, out of the cover and a shot by Wallace right in the face. What a shot and Wallace drops to his knees. A knockout right hand right to the side of the head and no big, uh, excuse me, Aldo P. Wallace gets the kick right in the face. And now Wallace with Bubba Mason up on the shoulders. Couple of well-placed elbows to escape that. And the Uranagi by Bubba Mason. Cover, one, and only a one yet again. What is it gonna take? What is it gonna take for one of these men to defeat the other here tonight? Both these men, giants, one, Two, and a two count this time for Bubba Mason. But as I was about to say, both of these men giants in GWA, some of the biggest, strongest in the entire industry, squaring off to try to get a opportunity to become the heavyweight champion of the world. Up on the shoulders. Down face first into the corner. Now Aldo P. Wallace taking advantage. And knocked down. And misses the clothesline. Back body drop by Aldo. And spine buster. Devastating combination that could do it. One. Two, no. Kick out by Big Bubba. And there's the bowling ball I had but by Aldo P. Wallace. Normally would follow that up with the press slam. This time it didn't. And now Bubba Mason is in all kinds of trouble. Aldo, Aldo gonna go for the submission here, the bow and arrow, and Bubba Mason being stretched by strongman Aldo P. Wallace, and look at this, into the cover, and immediately the kick out. But Bubba Mason able to escape, kick blocked, clothesline by Bubba Mason. Clubbing blow. Grabs him by the neck and chucks him like a sack of potatoes. Bubba Mason feeling it here now. And the senton by Bubba Mason into the cover. One, two, no. It's a lot of weight crashing down on one Stajnum. Mason now 
in control of Strongman, sends him to the buckle. Elbow, elbow. And now, slamming the back of the head of Aldo P. Wallace into the canvas. Shot right to the face. And now, Gazim, he's Googled the back of his head and choke slams him face first into the canvas again. Bubba Mason is feeling it. He feels like he is way on his way. One, two, three, no. So close to advancing to Star Spangled Beatdown against Charles Thompson. Drives the elbow right in the top of the head. And a knee strike right in the temple. Aldo P. Wallace. Aldo picks him up. Look at this strength. The press and the drop. Here's the cover. One, two, three. No, wait a second. Bubba Mason gets the left shoulder up. The press slam, not enough. Bubba Mason sweeps the leg. Bubba Mason with the big boot right in the side of the head. I think he might have just knocked Aldo out. Cover, this could be it. One, two, three. Big Bubba Mason has done it. Bubba Mason scores with the big boot right in the side of the head of Strongman. Aldo P. Wallace, and it's enough to gain the victory. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our main event for Star Spangled Beatdown is now set. The World Heavyweight title is on the line. Charles Thompson, Big Bubba Mason, who will become the world's champion? Here is your winner, Big Bubba Mason. We will find out this Sunday at Star Spangled Beatdown. Don't miss it. We'll see you then.